Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and today, you know I love these oddball sets. I've got a pretty oddball set for you right here. This is the 1990 Classic Major League Baseball board game. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and this is a set of 150 baseball cards, but the whole point is it's literally a board game. So it's got a die and some player pieces and a diamond there. There's the checklist so you know what's coming in here. But I am going to break this open, and I'm sorry for you purists, but I am going to break open this set and tear it apart so comes in three different packs here the good news is we know one of my faves is already in here nolan ryan and there's dion prime time sanders <laughs> so you can see this is the the game board and uh, so you would see, you would get a, 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 there's a space for an autograph, you can get their autograph, but it's got questions with, uh, so you can get a single or triple or double or home run based on the questions, a trivia game. So super fun for kids to play for baseball, but um, I'm going to break this all apart and pull out the players that I like and the good players. There's Deion Sanders, an early, early card for him. I think it's a rookie card, rookie year card. So put that aside. And it's him showing his uh, two-sport prowess there with his football there. The Bay Bombers, Kevin Mitchell and Will Clark. Jerome Walton coming off his Rookie of the Year season. The Cubs. And again, these sets, you kind of know what you're getting, especially if there's a checklist on the back. But it's still fun to look through and kind of see how they come out. Look at this. I mean, it's a very early 90s design, don't you think, with the... The colors, and here's a Tom Glavin for you. Wade Boggs. I'm not sure how they chose who would be in here. Here's Dale Strawberry. Julio Frank with his very distinctive batting style, batting stance. There's the Ryan Sandberg. I think that's new for my collection, too. Super excited to have that one. National League Home Run Kings, or Hit Kings. That's uh, Will Clark and Tony Gwynn. Harold Baines. There, there's a great card. The AL Fence Busters. Bo Jackson, Ruben Sierra, and Mark McGuire. Put that aside, too. And there's Kirby Puckett. These are actually in great shape, too. That seller wrap really did a good job. Cal Ripken Jr. Craig Biggio, an early card for him. Jose Canseco, looking very Jose there. Roger Clemens. And Ricky Henderson. That was that too. And again, if you look at the back here, you can see something like it's got single year stats, but then true or false. Joe Morgan played in 20 or more major league seasons. And that's a true, true statement. So you're obviously playing with a friend and asking them questions, much like Trivial Pursuit. And I guess you're kind of going around the base and seeing who can score the most. There doesn't seem to be any kind of rule card anywhere in here. Yeah, there's no, there's no rule card to tell you how to play. I guess they'll just figure you figure it out, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. But these have been wrapped up like this since 1990, so that's 31 years ago. So I get to be the first one since then to open them up. Luis Medina. See, that's like an odd one. Why would he be in here? I don't know anything about him. Let's put him aside. I wonder what happened to that guy. Andre Dawson. Vince Coleman. Now see, Glenn Allen Hill. I think Glenn Allen is actually one word. One name. But who knows. Barry Larkin. Jim Raines. Laying down a nice bump there. Paul O'Neill, it's a good card for him. Vaughn Hayes, stepping out of the box there. That fancy photo layout. Don Manley. Carlton Fisk, that's a good one. Big Cat, Andres Galarraga. Barry Bonds. So I have a few of these cards in my collection already, but 
have not seen all of these. You know, most of these sets we looked through, I've seen them ad nauseum, but um, this one I've not. And actually, I'll, I'll have a good time off camera going through and reading some of these questions. Maybe I'll play the full game with my with my with my kids. I'll probably uh, appreciate it for a few minutes at least. This is one I did not have, and I was happy to see it comes in here. This Nolan Ryan. So put that aside for my personal collection. I wonder if there's a Sean Dunstan in here. That would certainly make my day. Or Mark Grace would be a good one. Here's Sammy Sosa. That's, a, I think, a rookie year card on that one. Yep, rookie year card for Sammy Sosa. Nice card to have. Ken Griffey Jr. That's not one I've seen before. So that's a, that's a new one to me. Bernie Williams. I think that's probably a rookie card for him too. Yep. No major league experience. They're pretty hot on him, I think. There's John Smoltz. It's a good one. Ozzy Smith. Lots of good players in this. Tony Gwynn. Pete Rose Jr. Odd choice there. Thought maybe he was going to have some of his dad's magic. Bo Jackson. Very nice card. He's just such a an athlete, that guy. Bam Bam Mullins. Now, why they chose to put his nickname Bam Bam Mullins, Hensley Mullins is that guy's name. Um, I don't know that any other card that has Bam Bam. Oh, there's Mark Grace. That's a new one. I don't have that one in my collection, so glad to have that. So even if we don't have a Sean Dunstan, we had three of my four, three out of four for me. I'll take it, and uh, we're gonna find out what happened to Luis Medina. And Luis, let's read one of these. The home run name. The first baseman for the 1975 Phillies infield included Schmidt, Boa, and Cash. Um, third baseman. Oh, the first baseman. I don't know. Dick Allen. Never would have gotten that one. So that just proves just how hard that uh, trivia is. Let's look up Luis Medina. Baseball. There you go. Luis Medina. Former designated hitter, first baseman. Played for the Indians. All right, so that's the right guy. Only played for a few years, though. So he's one of those guys who made an appearance but didn't quite get there. Debut in 88. Last one in 91. Hit 207 with 10 home runs and 16 RBIs for the Indians. And then played in Japan for a bit. Uh, played for Arizona State. Appeared in five games for Cleveland in 91. The last major league season went to Japan. One of those rare players we are not primarily pitchers in major league history who threw left handed but batted right handed. Hmm. Having the fewest career RBIs among all players with exactly 10 career home runs. All right, very interesting stat there. Post playing careers went to the Royals to work in their front office, special assistant to the general manager. And this member of the 2008 Summer Olympic Baseball Selection Committee and the 2009 World Baseball Classic Selection Committee. So became a baseball lifer in the front office. Lived in Phoenix, Arizona and has triplets, Ariana, Chloe, and Garrett. So again, a baseball lifer, some guy who got a good a taste of the big leagues and uh, got to stick around in the front office and, and uh, you know, be around baseball for the rest of his career. So good for you, Luis. Um, good to know you. The rest of you, enjoy this crazy 90s design, and we'll see you next time.